This video is brought to you with support from my patrons on Patreon. Hey everybody, it's Jimmy from the DIY and Digital, and today we're playing with train sets. Welcome back. In front of me is a literal stack of train sets from different scales and different types. And the reason that I have this here is for the most part, if you start a model railroading journey, you're gonna start with a train set. So I'm gonna open these up and we're gonna talk about them and show you what you get inside. So let's go ahead and hop right in. The first one we're going to do is definitely for the youngest of the model railroaders. Now this is for ages three and up, and this is the classic wooden track train set. And this one comes with a nice little oval with an over under, um, a few train cars and a few little details. Now the name brands of this you obviously know is Brio. This is not the name brand, this is an off brand. But you can see that this comes with quite a few cool little things to get you started. It comes with the train, it comes with some buildings and some signs and things like that for little kids so they can like put them around, things like that and it also comes with some track you can see I have the elevation pieces right here and the great thing about these is this is proliferated so much that you can find pieces for this just about anywhere you can see it also has some trees right there that I dropped and we have a little bridge as well as some more straight pieces so let's go ahead and get this thing built Yeah, I'm a big kid. The world of wooden train tracks is one of the biggest in all of toy trains. The original, of course, is Brio, but you have tons and tons and tons and tons of options when you're looking for this kind of stuff. This is an off-brand set right here, but it's something that I'm actually gonna repackage and give to my kids. So this is a great way to start a kid in model trains. Next up we have a product from Lionel, which is relatively recent. It's not too new, but these are the Lionel ready to play train sets. Now it says these are G scale in some places, but they don't really fit on G scale tracks. So if you're gonna buy these thinking you can stick them on some G scale track you have, don't do that. But these are some really cool sets. They're for four and older. So let's go ahead and get this thing opened up. This is the second one of these I've actually bought. I actually have one of these and one of the Disney Christmas themes. There are a lot of different ones of these, especially for the specialty sets, and they're really reasonably priced. You can find them for about a hundred bucks, um, and they come with a battery-powered locomotive, a couple pieces of rolling stock, a remote controller, and some plastic track. I will say that they do, even though they're all 100% plastic, they do feel pretty solid. Um, they're very well made, and I really like that. And the track even though it's plastic it's got some flimsiness to it but it it's pretty solid as well now before you begin any of this you will want to put some batteries in the locomotive and the controller and the locomotive takes six yes six C batteries and they come out in a little cassette you have to unscrew the battery hatch and then you just plot the batteries right in there the on off switch is on top of the locomotive and you hear that beeping and that means that the controller is not connected and the controller takes three AAA batteries. This is more of a standard install. You just unscrew the battery plate, put the batteries in there, and then reattach it. Now we're gonna go ahead and assemble the track. It's pretty straightforward with built-in connectors on it. It comes with a full circle of track plus some extra straight pieces so you can make a nice oval. Then we're gonna go ahead and put all the cars on the track and give it a run. I really love these sets. They are a very affordable way to get into some of the larger model railroading to see if you like it. You're only gonna be out 100 bucks if you like it or you don't. And plus these are great for kids. These are designed for kids. But I also think that there is an opportunity here for Lionel. Now they do sell extra track for these, but one thing that they don't sell is additional rolling stock or standalone locomotives. And I think that this is a real missed opportunity because I know for one, people 
like me, if we had these sets, we would buy more rolling stock because it'd be a lot of fun for our kids. So maybe in the future, Lionel would consider selling additional rolling stock and locomotives as standalone items like they do with the extra track. But who knows? It's still a great product and it's a great set for anyone looking to get into model railroading, especially on the bigger side. Now we're getting into some of the classic scales. We're gonna start off with this, the HO scale Bachman Santa Fe Flyer. Now this is a standard DC powered set, which is what you're gonna find on most starter sets like this. There are DCC starter sets, but they're quite expensive. This one, not so bad. Let's go ahead and open her up. Bachman is definitely a standard bearer for the model train starter set. Other ones have come and go, and there are some other people that make starter sets at these scales, but Bachman really holds a lot of the market share. And this is definitely one of the classic starter sets. If you're going to know a diesel locomotive, you're going to know that Santa Fe with the war bonnet paint scheme. These come with a circle of 18 inch radius easy track, and this is the stainless steel easy track rather than the nickel silver. If you were going to do an upgrade on these, that'd be the first thing that I would do. And and it comes with a couple pieces of rolling stock and a DC power pack. A couple things to note, you hook up the power to the re-railer, which in this case is a curved re-railer, and then you're also gonna use that same section of track to put all of your cars on, and this makes it a lot easier, and I'm really glad that Bachman includes this in their sets. Next up, you'll just take that connector that you plug into the track and plug it into the slot in the DC power pack and then connect the power supply to it. You'll notice that it does have a directional switch. If this works in reverse of what you're doing, you will need to flip the plug that's in the track the other way. Otherwise, forward is forward, reverse is reverse, and then you control the speed. These sets are some of the classics of what almost everyone starts off with in model railroading. Obviously there are other scales, but sets like this are really the ones that you start off with. Now when you're looking for an age group, if you're looking to get this for a child, probably looking more along the lines of eight or not seven, eight, nine. I really lean towards more at eight and nine if they want to get into model railroading like this because it does have some small parts and it can be finicky and like everything else with this, it's, it is breakable. So you want them to be able to take proper care of it as well. Up next, we have something very similar to what I just showed you, except that it is in in scale so let's open this one up and check it out you're gonna see me open this and basically it's gonna look like a miniature version of the set that we just did it comes with a locomotive uh, three pieces of rolling stock including a caboose DC power pack and a circle of track that is a 12 inch radius and this track is actually Bachman's nickel silver track which is the only type of track they make in in scale but you want to be a little bit more careful with these because they are smaller but you're looking at a very similar set to the HO scale just in in scale so you're gonna put this together and then you're gonna do almost the exact same process and to get it running just like the HO scale set you're gonna plug this in right here and you're gonna also use this to put your cars on the track now one thing I will say about these in scale starter kit cars is that they have these knuckle couplers that aren't articulated or spring-loaded so they are a bit more difficult to couple most other rolling stock you buy will have those spring-loaded couplers the controller is the identical controller that you get in the HO scale set, so it's exactly the same setup. Now, just like in HO scale, Bachman does have a wide selection of in-scale starter sets. This is one of their base ones. They do have some more competition from companies like Kato in terms of starter sets, but these are a great place to start just like in HO scale. They're pretty affordable and the detail on these is actually pretty good. I would lean more towards an older child if you're buying this for a child simply because of the smaller parts, but it just comes down to your preference of in or HO scale. Alrighty. It's time for the big one. Oh, big heavy layout. Oh. O scale, Lionel. Let's get this puppy opened up. 
This is the Pennsylvania Flyer starter set. It comes with an 080 locomotive and tender that does have smoke and sound effects with it. It also comes with a couple pieces of rolling stock and a caboose, as well as a remote control. It also has an oval of Lionel's fast track with a 36 inch diameter curve. And this is a lot of fun to operate. Lionel is one of the OGs of American model railroading and model railroading period. They're one of the best known model railroading brands. And they are what I would consider the standard bearer in the O-Gage world. And we're going to go ahead and get this all set up and plugged in and ready to go. Now, just like the Lionel battery powered ready to play set, the remote control does require three AAA batteries. Simple, unscrew the plate, put the batteries in, screw it back in, and it will it's automatically connected to the locomotive and it has an on-off switch. The set does not come with a re-railer section of track, but it does come with a terminal section that you plug the power pack directly into. In addition to the chuffing and idle sounds, the locomotive has three different controllable sound effects, including its bell, its whistle, and crew chatter. Now, this is not the cheapest set on my list here. It's actually the most expensive set, but you're getting quite a lot for your money. Lionel trains have this magical quality to them. I'm not quite sure what it is, but with this set, you're getting an oval of track rather than a circle. You're getting a locomotive that has smoke, lights, and sounds that are with a remote control for it. You're getting some fairly detailed rolling stock, and there's just something magical about Lionel. There, I don't know if it's because it's associated with the holidays, but it really brings out the kid in us, and it brings a lot of joy to at least my face, and I know other people's. If you want to see a great example of that, check out RBP Train's channel. He has a ton of fun with his O-Scale setup. I'll link that right up here. Lionel is just one of those products that I hope it stays around forever because it's really one of those magical model railroad products that is great for the whole family. This is something that if you're looking for something the whole family can enjoy and you can set up and take down if you don't want to build a big model railroad, consider Lionel because there are so many fun accessories for Lionel. There's so much out there. You can collect it. It's been around for so long and there's just a ton of stuff out there. So if you're looking something for the whole family, can really get into and enjoy check this set out because it's going to open up the whole world of Lionel and O-Gage to you this is where the model railroading journey begins for so many of us and so many of us also have such great memories of opening up a train set so if you're looking for a gift or you're looking to get started in model railroading consider a train set they are just the absolute best way to get started in the hobby i want to say a big thank you to all of my patrons they are listed right here you can become a patron for as little as one dollar a month a lot of cool stuff going on over there including a model of the month that you can 3d print yourself at the five dollar a month level and if you you're looking for more information on getting started in the hobby i've got a whole playlist of videos as well as a playlist of videos that shows you how to build a layout with me from scratch so thank you guys so much for watching you can check those videos out right after this until next time i'm jimmy from the diy and digital stay safe be kind and happy railroading <laughs>